So I spent pretty much the whole day yesterday uh, kind of spot hopping around on a big lake, uh, trying out some different theories on where the catfish are going to be this time of year. It's late March, early spring. And uh, at about the fourth spot, I finally uh, figured out where they're at right now and uh, caught a couple of really nice, uh, nice uh, trophy sized channel cats for this area. And so I'm going back again today. It's the next day. And I'm going to go back to uh, where I finally found them yesterday. And uh, most likely they're still there. Not uh, much change in the weather since yesterday. And uh, I've got some new gear that I'm going to be using too, so stay tuned for that. Let's go catch some catfish. Thanks for watching. Today's bait is frozen shad. It's left over from last year. It's been in the freezer. There's lots of dead shad all over in this lake and catfish are running around cleaning it up from the winter kill. So this should match what's already in the lake pretty good. This is the new gear I was talking about and I'm going to be using today some new hooks. I'll talk more about these hooks here after I get baited up. That's what I'm doing today. Two baby shad hooked through the eyes. And four ounces of lead so I can get it out there pretty far. And a little bit of wind blowing today. Just a Carolina rig. Sink around a slide. Down to a kale hook. It's all 20 pound mono here. These are my Akuma Avenger ABF 55Bs. Caught some fish on them for the first time yesterday. I'm liking them a lot so far. So it's about uh, 1.15 in the afternoon. I like to fish the warmest parts of the day when the water is cold, both in early spring and in late fall. So, you know, between like 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock is when I'm going to fish today. These are the hooks that I'm trying today. Uh, Zone Lock is the brand name. This company uh, reached out to me, asked if I'd be interested in trying uh, some of their hooks. And, I, and I'd never seen a design like this before. Here, let me get one out of it. Yeah, I've never uh, seen a design like this before with this extra little bend down here. And to be honest with you, with you, when I first saw it, I was I was kind of like, what in the world is that? How could that, is that just some goofy thing just to be different or something like that? But after reading up on it a little bit and kind of thinking about it, it looks like a pretty darn good idea. And so I'm out here trying them. They asked me if I want to try them. I said, sure. So they sent me some. I'm out here trying them. And you can go to the website and find out all the details about them or whatever. I think they have a YouTube channel too. I'll leave that link in the description. But uh, they're chemically chemically sharpened. You know, that's that's the gold standard for hooks these days. So that's awesome. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, if this design is so great and superior to just a traditional hook, why aren't all the other companies making hooks uh, like this too? Why isn't this a common thing? And the reason is right there it's patented design that's why all the other companies uh, haven't made their own version of this so anyway zone lock sent me some hooks I'm out here trying them thank you to zone lock for sending them to me I hope they work good I think they will so it's hard to tell when the catfish are going to move from their wintering holes out into the the shallower parts of the water body and Yesterday, I kind of I was thinking that they'd be moving out into the shallower stuff a little bit, and uh, tried several uh, little uh, shallower bays where the wind was blowing into them, and uh, just seemed like that's where they should be, and they weren't there. And uh, apparently, it must be a little early for that because uh, I came over here to this rocky uh, shoreline over here that, that's uh, near some deep water, and uh, they were here. And by shallow water, I'm talking 
five, six feet. And by deep water, I'm talking like 12, 15 feet. So hopefully they're still here today. They were here yesterday. Got mostly overcast skies. High temp's gonna be about 55. Barometric pressure's uh, sitting just under 30. Uh, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Let's see what happens. The weather called for mostly cloudy today, which I was pretty excited about, but uh, it's more like partly sunny rather than mostly cloudy. I don't know what's the difference between mostly cloudy and partly sunny. Are those the same thing? I don't know. We get about 20 minutes of sun, 20 minutes of cloud, 20 minutes of sun, 20 minutes of cloud. So ideally I'd want it all cloudy for catfishing during the day, but it is what it is. That was a real bite. Yep. That was a real bite. Came back for it. Got a mouthful of sunflower seeds, folks. Yeah, that's a nice catch. That is a nice cat. Keeper size. Let's see how that new hook got him. Right in the corner, I don't see the hook point. Looks like it went into the lower lip and then up into the upper lip a little bit. There we go. Well, finally found a fish today. It's nice, uh, I don't know, five, five pounder or so. That zone lock hook got him right in the corner. And I think I'm gonna keep fish today. Especially, I was hoping to catch some about this size. Um, I think I changed my mind about keeping this particular fish, though. He's got those little bumps in all of his fins and on his sides. He's going to go back. There you go, young fella. We'll get bigger. See ya. That was on the cut carp. Put a couple of small pieces on there instead of one chunk. This feels like a much better fish than the first one. Very heavy. Very heavy. It feels like one of these trophies that I caught yesterday. Rocky, rocky bottom, there's sharp rocks. Oh, he's pulling some drag. Never mind that annoying noise. It's just some kids and a dog. That is a big catfish. I just saw his tail come up. Oh yeah, oh my. That is a trophy. Come on in here. Come on in here, baby.
big fella. Yes! Whew. Sorry about the annoying noise, folks. It's a dog chewing on a chew toy. I don't know, that's gonna be over 10 pounds probably. This is a big channel cat. This might be my personal best channel cat even. Let's see, let's see how, where that hook's at. It's in the bottom lip. The hook point's all the way in there. Can't see the hook point. There we go. Thirteen. Thirteen pounds, fifteen ounces. Check out <laughs> this beast of a channel cat. I gotta move back a little bit. 13 pound channel cat. This is my new personal best. My personal best was 12 pounds before. Wow. Bit on the cut carp. The new hook held him real well. Held her real well. Big tail. She's tensing up. I just wanna look at this fish for a minute. I didn't, what's that? I didn't know if they got this big in this lake or not. I know there's a lot of 10 pounders, caught a lot of them, but uh, this is a great day, great day. This is a trophy fish, this is a breeder fish. I'm gonna get her back in the water, and get bigger and make more catfish. Hang on to her for a minute here. <laughs> oh yeah. See you later. For some reason this line is slack while I was dealing with that fish, something was going on here. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Yep. So, I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I was probably getting bites. Oh, got off. I was probably getting bites on this rod while I was gawking at that giant channel cat. It got off. That's not cool. Put it on a piece of fresh bait. Oh, I'm getting another fish. This line just went slack. Just cast this one out. Fish on. I haven't got a chance to get my third line. They didn't cast it out. I was just about to cast it, actually. This feels like another good fish. I can tell you it's definitely not a small one. And let's see. That's another good channel cat. I don't think it's as big as that 13. No, it's not. <laughs> Get in there. Whew. This is turning out to be a great afternoon. Well, that was a good hook set there, all the way through the bottom lip. Another nice channel cat. They're just coming one after the other now. It's probably a five, five and a half, something like that. I'm not gonna weigh him. Looks like another female. <laughs> this is a good looking fish. Doesn't have any of those uh, parasite looking things like that first eater size fish did. Let's go put her back. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, what a great day.
So it's it's 10 after 4. Um, all those fish came between like 3.30 and 4 o'clock, right, right smack dab in the, in the warmest part of the day. I mean, right now, I guess it still is kind of the warmest part of the day, but in about 20 minutes, the sun's going to start getting lower and the temperature will start falling. And Oh, I got a bite. All right, false alarm. But anyway, I love this daytime catfishing in the spring and fall. It's good stuff. Fish on. Fish number five is on the line. I was just thinking about leaving because the bite slowed down considerably. It's been about a half an hour since the last fish. Sorry. I'll pull sunflower seeds again. This is another good fish. Yeah. Whew. Another solid channel cat. Get this hook out of him here. He's in the corner. Another very nice male channel cat here. He's gray, really light gray. Probably another five pounder. They just keep on coming. I love it, love it. go bye bye I wasn't intending on keeping fish today when I came I even brought my bucket but I don't know just changed my mind I could probably catch another fish on this same bait but I just got a little bit left it's probably not gonna be any good by the time I get home so might as well just put some fresh stuff on going on mm -hmm. just got that other one out this is another solid fish folks swimming at me Fish number six. I didn't expect to catch six fish today. Personal bass. This might be another one, I don't know. All right, that's it. All the sunflower seeds are out of my mouth now. No more spitting. Yeah, that's another big boy. I thought they were done, but they just keep coming. That's an 11 pounder. It's kind of, yeah, right around 11. Is this one of the prettiest channel cats you've ever seen or what? Just the greenish gold color on this fish. 11 pounds. So many trophy sized channel cats today. Look at that girl, huge head, big belly. <laughs> wow. Let's put her back in the water. I bet this fish is anxious to go. Yep. A little disoriented there, but there she goes. Staying on the surface, that's interesting. See you later. Thanks for the fight. 
And just like that, as mysteriously as they arrived, they were gone. What a great day. This is uh, early spring catfishing at its best, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.